How did it come around taking these pictures? Is it something you've been thinking about for a while or just spur of the moment? It was completely spur of the moment. We had absolutely no intention for this to go viral. Um, I tweeted it uh, expecting it to go to a handful of people, maybe one or two retweets. Um, and it just sort of blew up from there. <laughs> were you cross about it, Georgia, when you saw this mannequin? <laughs> well, we, we were just shocked. I think that was our overwhelming like immersion. Mm -hmm. We were just gobsmacked. That we'd, we'd been in a few shops before we went into Topshop, and that was the first one that was so thin. OK, so it's not, it's not like Topshop has these mannequins everywhere. This is just one particular mannequin you noticed, and it got um, you a bit riled. No, that exact mannequin was right throughout the shop. In Topshop, we didn't notice any other mannequin apart from this one. OK, so what do you make of the reaction on Twitter? Um, the reaction has been, it's generally a positive consensus, um, so we're very pleased with that, obviously raising um, the profile of the issue. Um, we've had a few negative tweets, but I've just redirected them to the blog that I wrote, saying that uh, essentially we're not trying to skinny shame or like, body shame skinny girls. Yes, because it means some girls will look similar to that mannequin, they'll be yeah. tall, they'll be very slim. Yeah, that's true, but um, I think the fact that the mannequin is six foot one and um, has 14 inch thighs, I think that's maybe an extreme of super skinny that they're trying to portray. The thing is, Natasha, most people will see a six foot one inch female mannequin, which is super skinny, and realize that, as Topshop says, it's not meant to be an exact representation of a female body. Well, it's not as simple as saying as something like a single mannequin can cause, for example, anorexia. It's more that the cumulative effect of this, of all the advertisements that we see, of the fashion industry's presence in our culture and our society, creates a culture where low self-esteem can flourish. And it's not just that that can lead to eating disorders. I mean, you were talking about obesity earlier on your program. They've actually shown, the, the government launched an initiative last week called the Be Real campaign, and they've shown that a lot of obesity Obesity is caused by our skinny worshipping culture. But is it Topshop's responsibility to do this kind of thing? They're selling an, an ideal, aren't they? They're selling an idea of a sort of, you know, fantasy lifestyle, if you like. They're selling clothes. They're not selling what is meant to be right, necessarily. Well, Topshop have a duty of care to their customers. And what you see here, you have Becky and Georgia. They're both 23 years old. They represent the demographic that Topshop are selling to. And if you think about the fact that, you know, throughout the store in Topshop, a lot of the mannequins actually have to have the clothes pegged so that they fit them. So even their the own clothes... Is that problem with the clothes rather than the mannequins? No, the problem is the mannequins, because they, they should represent the consumer. If they're saying that it's because the clothes hang better, on something that completely lacks shapes, then why not just have a selection of coat hangers throughout the store? Okay. Why make it look like a human body? I mean, other places do things differently. We saw Debenhams last year had a range of mannequins brought in, including, including size 16. George, I'll finish with you. Will this stop you going into Topshop? Will you still buy clothes there? We're not looking for people to stop going in there. I think it won't stop me going in, but I will sort of try and avoid looking at Just won't look at the mannequins? Mannequins, yeah. Okay, just look at the clothes on the hangers, perhaps. Thank you all very much indeed. Good to see you.